What is going on guys, it's Tomo Gaming HD here and welcome to this Cockery and Team of the Group stage play review. The 82 rated Russian who plays for Zenit St. Petersburg. Now it has 3 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, high medium work rates and it cost me 15,500 coins. Now the like target for this video is 15 likes so if you could smash that like button right now it would be very much appreciated. Also we have another Team of the Group stage play review on the channel already. Andre Silva, the AC Milan 82 rated striker. You can give that a watch if you want to after this video. Now, on screen are Cochrane's in-game stats. So we, what we'll do now is go through his base card stats. He has 88 pace, 82 shot, 80 passing, 85 dribbling, 47 defending, and 77 physical stats. His in-game stats that stood up to me, I picked 5. His ball control at 86, 84 shot passing, 84 finishing, 84 attacking positioning, and 83 shot power. On screen you can see the team that we played him in. Uh, you can see his counterpart from um, Zenit on the right hand side. A pretty basic Premier League side. You know, a couple of standout players, obviously Martial and Fellaini. We had to put Pereira into midfield just to give the chemistry. But yeah, it, it worked really, really well. And Cochrane did actually stand out, which I, I didn't expect him to do. Now let's move on to the positive of this card. Now I was really shocked because... I saw his stats and I thought this guy could be good or it could be one of those players that look really good and, and doesn't really perform. However, there's so many positives about this card. Try and keep it on his, his stronger foot just because on, on the weak foot he doesn't seem to be brilliant. I mean, he's not particularly bad, but he doesn't seem brilliant. Um, his dribbling is absolutely exceptional. That and the fact of the runs he makes just make him an absolute fun card to use. Now the runs he makes, he just seems to be in the right place at the right time. And his acceleration just make, means for phenomenal runs from this guy. Uh, there's a, a clip toward the end where he makes a fantastic run, beats the, the offside trap and just finishes it just because of his pace. Uh, his heading seems to be absolutely wicked. I, I absolutely love uh, a player who's got seems to have all round stats that seem to work. Um, his passing seems to work as well with the defenders. You know, he, he seems to be able to have that all round stats that you, you seem to like. Uh, his finishing is phenomenal as well. You can see that first time finish just curls it past the keeper. This is the run I'm talking about. Beats him for pace, just finishes it off, and it's, it's a cool finish. Uh, negatives for me. Now, his first touch sometimes can let him down. It's not particularly a massive threat, but just be wary of that. Try and keep him on his stronger foot, as I've suggested, because three-star weak foot, some players just, it doesn't seem to work, and he's one of those. And obviously the biggest negative is the league and nationality. As you can see, I had to compromise the midfield to get him into the team. Now, he's a 10 out of 10 for price, because 15K is very, very cheap. A 9 out of 10 for positioning. Hybrid and weekend league ability come down to his nationality and his league. You know, hybrid ability is, I'd say, a 5 out of 10 for being in the top 5 leagues. But it's just not there. Weekend league ability, 5 out of 10. Uh, 9 out of 10 for performance. And 9 out of 10 for enjoyment. If he was in one of the big hitting leagues, he would easily be the eight, the high 8s. Uh, you can see here, he is currently ninth with a 7.7. .7. Spoiler alert, if you've not seen the Andre Silva review, he's currently 8th with an 8 rating. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow my social media if you haven't, there'll be links down below. Leave a like if you can, and until the next video, goodbye.